Aaron and Jackson. here i just bring you guys this quick little video i want to apologize for lack of uploads um i'm actually uh doing a lot of work on my program which is hellmaker uh, for all of you that know about that um and then also doing a lot of work around my house a lot of rebuilding and stuff like that so uh yeah i just want to let you guys know that and i will be uploading back on the schedule through monday wednesday and friday um in the music channel also it's in the sub box it'll also be in the description Go check that out. We upload the music that I use in this video. Um, and this video was made by my good buddy. Um, I call him Fuckboy. You can call him uh, whatever you want. But uh, definitely his link will be in the description. If you go give his channel uh, a look, give him a sub. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So again, I'm going to be uploading back on my same schedule here pretty soon. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy this little quick tutorial. And uh, see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys. Hey, what's up, guys? Um, sorry I haven't made a video in a while. I've been, you know, having some stuff going on. But, uh, today I'm going to teach you how to make a QBot botnet, or a CNC, P2P, whatever you want to call it. Now, first, let's get off to the basics. What is QBot? Well, QBot consists of two parts. A client side, client side, and a server side. The client side is what infects your bots and gives it all the attack methods and all that crap. The server side is your connection handler, what allows you to communicate with your bots. Now, fuck. All right. So now, uh, let's get started. So here's a client that I'm going to be giving to you guys. This is a client go inside and let's start editing so right up here make sure you have notepad plus plus installed by the way uh, potty and files or win scp whatever you want to use so what you're gonna do in notepad plus plus is oh shit <laughs> eh, fail All right, what you're gonna do is you're gonna find your this IP and you're gonna hit replace and then replace it with your IP so, Ten, sorry, I beat that. So then, once you have that replaced, you're gonna control F, control F, W get, and uh, you're gonna replace your IP in all of those. But if you did it up top, then you're fine. It should replace it for all. Um, after that, you're straight. Now you're just gonna save and save that somewhere on your desktop. I'm going to put that there. Now what you're going to do is you're going to get a cross compiler. You don't have to edit anything in there. I'm going to be linking all these files in the description so don't worry. And then you're going to need a server side. Um, any server side would work to be honest. Let's just pick out something to give you guys. Uh, I'll give you dark cry server side. So, and then paste. All right. So now, once you got all these on your desktop, oh yeah, and you don't need to edit the server side. But once you got all these on your desktop, you're going to open your VPS in Putty. So let's find my VPS. All right. Now just pretend you don't see any of all that other stuff. Uh, you're gonna make directory, compile, and once you do that, you should see something called compile right there. And then the same thing for tell, make directory tell. Now once you do all of that, uh, you're gonna cd compile. Make sure you press ls to see if it actually made it. Now none of this is gonna be in here. Um, you see, CC7 is here in PornBot, but what you're going to do is you're going to go into your server on WinSCP or FileZilla, and you're going to drag Terror v1 and CC7 into your compile directory. Okay? Now, once you do that, once that's finished, there's a few things we need to install. 
So just do yum install. This is if you're on an Ubuntu server, and that's what I recommend, getting an Ubuntu server, uh, running Sensos, Sensos. I mean, no, no, no. Sorry. <laughs> this is if you're um, on a Sensos server, and I recommend getting Sensos 6. And if you're on Ubuntu, it's apt-get install. Okay? So, yum install. You're going to install gcc screen python um, and wget. And I think that's it. And then dash y. That just installs all of that. Now see, I have all those installed to the latest version, so it's not going to install anything. So now, what you're going to do is python cc7.py space. In this case, I'm going to be using Pornbot. You guys would type terror v1. And after that, you put your server's IP. So mine is 89.34.99.151. And you enter. It's going to ask you if you want to get the architectures, which are these, the cross compiles. Yes. So you're going to hit yes. I'm going to hit no because I already had them installed. Then it's going to run through everything, start uh, W getting them, and then it's going to cr cross compile your bot. Once it cross compiles your bot, just let it for a few seconds. Let it do its thing. Don't worry. It didn't freeze. Then once you do that, you know, it's going to make everything. Don't worry, that's normal. So then you're going to CD, clear, CD, tell. Okay. Now, remember what I was saying about the server side and your connection handler. So now what you're going to do is... Mm, I don't have Darkrai server on here. I have a different server. But what you're going to do is pretend that's not there. You're going to nano login dot text okay and you're gonna make a login I put mine as root root you can put whatever you want make sure it's all on one line and if you're gonna add another user make sure it's just once you know one line under don't make it two lines under just make it one line <laughs> and then once you're done control X Y enter you should have login dot text now you're gonna do GCC space um it will be server.c so server dot c dash o server dash p thread and then you're gonna hit enter it's gonna do all of that stuff compile it doesn't take long it's like two seconds then what you're gonna do is screen dot slash server then the bot port that's in your client so in Terra v1 it's 666 forgot to tell you that this is your server IP and this is your bot port that's what the bots are going to be connecting with you can change that to whatever you want so it's going to be 666 and then threads put 1000 threads and then the port that you want to join them with so um, I usually put 777 or whatever you want that could be whatever you want but this has to be whatever you put in the client here okay so after you do that I'm just gonna clear and I'm gonna continue with my screening process you're not gonna see all of this this is just yeah what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit control then A and D <laughs> I close it Jesus Christ don't do it twice guys let me just log back in <clears throat> so after you do that CD compile clear and once you do that oh no not compile tell So then screen and rx that you don't have to do that but that's just to resume this process so once you do that control ad and then you're gonna do service space ip tables stop and it should say stopping and flushing and all of that then service httpd restart 
then it's going to stop it, start it, and that's normal. So then after you got that, uh, let's do screen dash rx again. This is just my bots responding to me. So what we're going to do is open up putty. You're going to hit raw. And you're going to type your server's IP. So 89.34.99.151. And then the port that you choose. Uh, my server side is different. Yours won't look like this. But my port is 32.30. Enter. And then I'm going to type my password. One sec. Okay, so once you type your password, uh, you should be connected. Now, you're going to have zero bots. Uh, that's alright. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to scan. So, uh, for scanning server, you're going to need a good server over 1 gig and in 1 gig port speed. You don't want anything that says 100 megabits per second. You do not want that. You want 1 gigabits per second. And there's a good website that you could go to for uh, getting all of this. Um, uh, Zare.com and they have good servers, DDoS protected, no one can down them, <laughs> and amazing prices. This is perfect for what we're doing, um, but I recommend their five dollar, five euro package. Oop. Their five euro package is fine. They got DDR4 memory, so they're great. They're great. And uh, yeah, guys. So oop, that's how you set up Cubot. If you need help, just uh, hit me up, and I'll hit. Um, I'll help you guys. So yep.